Welcome to Computer Architecture CSE 340 Lecture Series. Uh, we, uh, today we are going to see an example of a PLA design. We already have uh, seen uh, what is PLA and where PLA can be used or, or PLAs are used. Now, in that discussion, we have seen a small uh, example. Uh, today we are going to work with a little bit bigger example. You can obviously work with much bigger example when you are doing it by yourself. But because I have a limited space, so I, I, I have chosen this this uh, as an example. As you can see that we have three uh, uh, outputs, Y1, Y2 and Y3. And they have uh, N terms. Uh, this one is uh, this one A prime B C, A, A B C prime, A B C and so on. Now, since we have the output, uh, output combinations, uh, 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 so we can straightforward, uh, way, uh, in, in straightforward way, we can start designing it. But when you are dealing with PLA, then you need to uh, consider one thing. First of all, you need to design an open circuit, which I already have done so. So, in this case, what you should be doing is, Come, you should come up with an open circuit that that is uh, that is true for any uh, PLA uh, question. Uh, if you if you can say that if you have that in the exam, then uh, the first thing that you should be doing, you should be coming up with this open uh, open circuit like this. As you can see in this circuit, no links are connected to the input and to the output, which means this is open. You can design it the way you want. Now let's consider the n terms uh, uh, that we have here. How many n terms do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See this ABC and we have ABC here. So we, uh, if you count, then you would see that in these three outputs, we have uh, we need six uh, AND gates. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now our job is to uh, make inputs available for these AND gates which means we need to shoulder this link so let's start with this one which means uh, this one is a prime b c so what do we need to do we need to uh, figure out a prime this is our a prime and then we'll have b and we'll have c so now this one will output a prime b c and then we have a b c prime so we shoulder here we shoulder here and then we shoulder here so we can write a b c prime then this one uh, th this one so this a b c a b and c so this is our a b and C. Now here we have another term which is a b prime c. So a and then we have b prime and we have c. So this one will be a b prime and c and then a prime b prime c. A prime b prime and c. A prime b prime and c. And then we have there a, a, with a y3 a prime b prime c prime a prime b prime and c prime so this one will be a prime b prime c prime so we have all our entrance ready now we need to uh, generate the final output which is y1 y2 and y3 so for y1 what do we need we need this one this one and this one so if we shoulder here if we connect this link we connect this link and if we connect this link then these three will give us our required inputs for y1 so we'll, y1 is ready similarly for y2 we need this one this one and a b c and for y3 we would need this one and we would need this one. So our Y3 is ready. So you have seen that how we can design a, a bigger PLA. Uh, 
as i said you can obviously design much bigger pla when you are practicing at home so thank you for watching